So. <clears throat> you ever seen a shot that tough to win a game nope. in, this, in this space? Nope. So. That's, uh, that's probably, the, uh, I've seen a lot of great shots in practice, in games, on TV. I think that one takes a kick. What, what, what's going through your head as, as you see him shooting it and then it's in the air? Um, in Kyrie, we trust. You know, as soon as we give him the ball, we know he's going to be able to make either, he's going to find a, a great shot or he's going to make a great opportunity for someone else. So whenever we see him get the ball, sit back, just watch, watch it happen. And, you know, no one was expecting him to make that layup. No one was expecting him to take that floater, layup, whatever you want to call it. But, Amazing shot. And then what's going through your head when it goes in? <laughs> uh, honestly, I was surprised Markeith Morris sprinted off the bench faster than anybody. So, uh, <laughs> you know, everybody was uh, everybody was static. You know, they were being able to see that shot in that moment. It's amazing. It's exciting. And, you know, you don't get many chances or many feelings like that. Uh, how much of a confidence booster is a game like this one against Denver? Obviously, y'all had an up and down season. Now you sit at seventh in the West, but obviously such a marquee win. How does this one translate towards the rest of the season? Um, we just got to build off it. You know, I feel like our defensive, our defensive talk, our defensive discipline is definitely stepping up and stepping in the right direction. So we just got to be able to build off it. We got to be able to make sure we learn from our mistakes and get to the next one. You know, we're not going to be able to just sit here and be like, yeah, we won a game. They're a great team for sure, but. You know, there's other great teams out there. What were some of like the little things that you noticed defensively that were different today that haven't been maybe prevalent in some of the other ones? Um, you know, there was definitely some times where we had to just change up what we were doing. You know, moving around who was guarding who, moving around how we were guarding things, how we were playing things throughout the entire game. It was just kind of figuring out what scheme was going to work at that time. And as soon as it stopped working, we went and changed again. What worked for you guys so well in the offensive class tonight? Um, you know, if shot goes up, we got to be able to battle down low as bigs, you know, and there was definitely uh, PJ had a big rebound at night, you know, being able to know he had 11. No, wait. Yeah, he had 11. So being able to know that he was always coming in to help us rebound, you know, if uh, one of the big men was occupying Jokic, we know everybody else was boxing out trying to get the rebound. You guys went to Denver a couple months ago and got outscored in the paint by 20, you know, obviously a completely different story. How different is this team? You know, with your development, with the with the additions in the in the trades, getting Maxi back, how different is it that you guys can only hit nine threes in a game like this and still win and still dominate? It really, just comes down to us building, uh, us having chemistry with one another and trusting one another. You know, being able to trust on switches, be able to trust on having low man, having the next man reel over or rotate. It's just uh, playing together with one another <laughs> for this, not even that long of a time, but being able to build as much trust is amazing. You very rarely see Joker have this poor of a shooting night. What, why do you think you guys were able to contain him as well as you did? Um, you know, just being able to you think about that. We were just trying to throw a whole lot at him. You know, we were trying to make sure that he didn't feel comfortable. He didn't know what was coming. You know, we just try to be able to just throw a lot at, lot at him. And so he took a second for him to figure out what he was going to do, figure out what passes he was going to make. And as soon as we started seeing him getting comfortable, we were just changing things, trying to be able to make it more difficult. What kind of benefit was for you all that PJ pick up some of those uh, possessions against him. Amazing. You know, uh, strong, sturdy, and he's be, uh, he, we talking to him. He's listening to us. He's talking back. You know, he's a great player, a great defensive end. He was able to bring us energy on the floor and be able to uh, transition to the offensive end. Well, you and uh, Jeff to yeah, kind of occupy more space. You do. Yeah, kind of occupy space and being able to kind of play off Joker, try to keep your eyes on him, but also making sure you keep an eye on the ball. And you had your um, Euro step dunk. Do you think that's something Mavs fans can look forward to seeing more often? Was that a reactionary thing? Was that already planned? Oh, uh, was a reaction after that. Uh, you know, I'm just being able to have Kyrie put the ball in that position. You know, he trusts me to finish the play, so I got to do it. Uh, it was kind of a reaction. It was kind of just if he's going that way, I'm gonna go the other way. So got to be able to just build off it. You know, I'm comfortable when I'm on the floor with my teammates. And my teammates are comfortable giving me the ball. Derek, what, what, what part of your game um, would you say you have grown the most today compared to when you arrived in Dallas? I would definitely say understanding the game of basketball. You know, understanding uh, what the rotations, understanding uh, player personnel, who's good at what, who's bad at what, understanding where I need to be, understand that whenever someone is playing one-on-one, -on -one, they're not looking at the defender, they're looking to see if anyone's behind them. So I'm trying to be able to make sure that I'm always in line of sight to make the ball handler kind of question if he's going to do that move or go somewhere else.
Appreciate you. Have a good one.